you want me to say to your people. Hallelujah. And as I began to search the spirit, I heard the Lord said, rebuild. Rebuild, rebuild. And I said, rebuild. Rebuild what? Hallelujah. And the Lord says, rebuild the altar. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rebuild the altar. Prepare for a rebirth. Mighty God. This is not my word, but this is the word of God. And as I said before, I allow self to be slain. And I allow the Holy Spirit to lead and the Holy Spirit to take full control. So whatever I share with you today, whatever I say, it is not coming from me, but it is coming from God himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to look at me, but just receive the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the scripture was already read. First Kings chapter 18. Hallelujah. And the topic today is rebuild the altar. Prepare for a rebirth. Hallelujah. Mighty God. God is awesome. Hallelujah. And Bishop was right when he said God is about to take you to another level. Hallelujah. Whenever God sends a word, there is always a confirmation. Mighty God. He never sends a word and it's void. It's just out there. There is always somebody to confirm that word. Hallelujah. And I receive the confirmation in my spirit that God has indeed spoken. Mighty God. First Kings chapter 18, reading from verse 17 through to 31. It was already read. And in First Kings chapter 18, we learn about Ahab, who became a wicked king. Turning away from God, he led the people of God astray through compromise, and they followed him into worship of idols. Mm -hmm. They worshiped Baal and the true and living God. They were confused. They hesitated between two opinions. They then became supporters and spokesmen for mm -hmm. evil in the oh midst God. of the congregation. Oh, Hallelujah. Mighty God. Let me just go ahead and then I, I just speak what God wants me to speak. In the day of Ahab, there was a voice, a bold and courageous voice that was raised up. And this voice was the prophet Elijah. He would not bow to Baal. Right. There were also 7,000 other prophets who would not bow their knees, but kept themselves pure and without compromise. Hallelujah. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal. How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. Hallelujah. He challenged them to contest. To a contest at Mount Carmel where a sacrifice was prepared. And the prophets of Baal called on their God. But no fire fell. When it was Elijah's turn, he did not initially call on God for power. He did something else first. He called all the people to come together near him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been torn down in the land. Let me just pause there for a moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we heard what the story is all about, mighty God. There was this king, Ahab. Hallelujah. And he strayed away from God. Hallelujah. He started to worship idols. Mighty God. And he also allowed the people to stray as well. Mighty God. And they turned to idol worship. But there was this mighty man of God, this prophet of God, Elijah. Hallelujah. That he was determined that no matter what, I am going to stand for God. Hallelujah. No matter what the enemy is doing, mighty God. No matter what the other prophets are doing, he was determined that he would stand for God. Hallelujah. Further down, we learn that Elijah was somewhat the only one, but he decided that he was going to stand for God. Mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. What I want to say to you today is, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There are some altars, mighty God, that has been torn down. Hallelujah. And Jesus is saying to us this morning, this afternoon, hallelujah, that you must rebuild. Hallelujah. He is 
calling for the altars to be rebuilt. Mighty God. Hallelujah. I don't know what your idols are. I don't know what is happening in your life. I don't know the situation. I don't know the circumstances. It might not be the woods. Hallelujah. It might not be precious stones. I don't know what it might be. It might not be a literal image that you are worshipping. Hallelujah. But whatever it is that you are putting before God, He is saying to you that the answer is to God and He wants you to rebuild the answer. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Some of us, hallelujah, Jesus, it is our clothes that we wear. Hallelujah. They have become idols. It's our possessions, our cars, our homes, our jobs, our children. Hallelujah. Our parents, whatever it is, hallelujah, that you are putting before God. God is sending the word today and he is saying your altar has been broken down and he is saying to you, you need to rebuild the altar. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mighty God. Hallelujah. As we read in the story, hallelujah, that Elijah, he put forth a challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the prophets that were serving Baal and for himself. And he said, okay, let us meet on the mount. Mighty God. Let us come together for this challenge. Let us prepare two bullocks. Mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. And we're going to lay them at the altar. And we're not going to put any fire underneath them, but we are going to call upon our God. Mighty God, mighty God.
they have turned away from him and he is calling us back he is saying come back come back mighty God hallelujah some of us are between two opinions we don't know whether we want to serve God or whether we want to serve God hallelujah but the word of God tells us that you can't serve two masters you gotta choose whom you, whom you may serve this day hallelujah this is the day of the Lord and God is saying make a decision choose who you will serve hallelujah if Baal is God then serve him hallelujah but if I be God serve me Jesus hallelujah mighty God and when Elijah called them together and they called upon their God we don't know avail nothing happened it was his time hallelujah to call upon God and so Elijah oh Jesus he placed his sacrifice hallelujah but before Elijah called upon God there was something important that he did mighty God yes. Elijah could have gone ahead and he could have said call Jesus he could have called Jesus and said send your fire but he did not do that he called the people together and he said come together and he rebuilt the altar yes. mighty God Elijah knew the significance of rebuilding the altar yes. he knew the importance of rebuilding the altar mighty God when you call upon God and there is no altar, there is Jesus. no sacrifice, he will not hear you. Mm. Your calling will be in vain. Yes. Mighty God. And so God is saying to us today, rebuild your altars. Hallelujah. Rebuild your altars. He is saying all the miracles that you want to see. Hallelujah. All the breakthroughs that you want to get. All the deliverance that you want to see. Mighty God. He is saying unless you rebuild your altar, then I cannot show up for you. Mighty God. I cannot come true for you. Because your altar is broken. Hallelujah. And so Jesus is saying to us, fix it. Fix it. Rebuild it. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has always wanted a relationship with his people. Hallelujah. Some of us, we have no relationship with God. Mighty God, it's only when we come to church on a Sunday morning that we remember to open our Bibles. It is only when we come to church on a Sunday morning that we remember to pray. It is only when we come to church on a Sunday morning we know that we're supposed to worship. Hallelujah. But God says you should worship him in the morning, worship him in the noon, and worship him in the evening. Every single day, make worship a lifestyle. Hallelujah. It is not a one time. is a lifestyle. What is your lifestyle? What is the sacrifice that you have to give to God? What is, what is it that you are presenting to God? Hallelujah. God requires your worship. Mighty God. God requires your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God requires your sacrifice. Hallelujah. Is it that you want to sacrifice your prior life? Mighty God. Hallelujah. Some of us, we are intercessors, but our prayer life becomes so dormant. Mighty God, we cannot intercede anymore because our altars are torn down. Our altars are broken down. And so we cannot go before God. We cannot prostrate before God. Hallelujah. Because we are empty. Mighty God. Hallelujah. We are broken. Hallelujah. Our altars are broken. Jesus. And God says, before he does anything to his people, he always sends a word. He yeah. always sends a warning. Yeah. It's either you take it or you leave it. You don't have to accept it. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. But God is saying, anyhow, rebuild your heart. Jesus. Hallelujah. When it's time for church, we are at home. We are all over doing all sorts of stuff. When we are supposed to come into the house of God, when we are supposed to meet for prayer meeting, when we are supposed to meet for Bible studies, when we are supposed to meet for department.
it is, hallelujah, that you are supposed to be involved in. You find other time to go about your business and to do other stuff. But God is saying, what about me? What about my time? My time, God of Daniel. Hallelujah. Jesus, God is saying, why have you forsaken me? Hallelujah. God says he's married to the church. Mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah, 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 mighty God. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah was warning the children of Israel and the children of Judah. And he was saying, God is calling you back. God is calling you to come home when they turn their backs and they turn to idol worship. And they would not hear, mighty God, hallelujah. Then Jeremiah gave them the word. He gave them the message. And he told them of the destruction that was about to come upon their lands. Mighty God. And there was a time that God had to divorce them. Jesus. Hallelujah. What is your state today? Do you want God to divorce you? That's the question I'm asking. You don't have to answer me. But you need to answer to God. Hallelujah. 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 Did you not remember your vow? Mighty God. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is saying... Don't you remember the vow, the covenant that you have made yeah. with me? Yes. Hallelujah. God is a covenant keeper. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so he desires us to be covenant keepers as well. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. How can you break your covenant with God? Hallelujah. How can you turn your back on the man that woke you up this morning? Jesus. Brought you through so many life difficulties. Yeah. So many situations that you have gone through. How can you? This is what the Spirit of God is saying. It's not me. I'm not saying anything. I am just delivering the word of God. And God is saying, how can you turn? Hallelujah. Jesus. And so he is calling you to return. Yeah. Mighty God. What are you willing to rebuild? Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 There are so many distractions around us. Hallelujah. But we don't want to become prey to the enemy. Oh. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. You got to stay focused. Yeah. Jesus is calling for focus. Yeah. He is reestablishing Focus. And he says, focus on me. Yeah. See me and me alone. Yeah. Hallelujah. There are so many things that is happening around us to get our attention. Mighty God. The, the enemy, the devil is out here like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. What is your position? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you allow yourself to become vulnerable? Mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is saying, what is your position? Make your decision. Make a choice. Hallelujah. We are stuck between two opinions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Jesus is saying, make your choice. Hallelujah. God wants to pour out his spirit. Hallelujah. God wants to pour out his anointing. God wants to take some persons to another level. Hallelujah. But you have not created an avenue for God to act. Mighty God of Daniel, you have not opened a door for God to come in. You have shut him out without even realizing that you have shut out God. But God is saying, where is the open door? Hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Create an avenue for the outpouring of the oil. Mm. Create an avenue for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. God wants to bring about sign and wonders in yeah. this place. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Yeah. Hallelujah. I said God wants to bring about sign and wonders in this place. Mighty God, Holy Spirit. I say, God wants to create. He wants to do some unusual stuff among you. But he says, there is a barrier. There are ignorances. Mighty God of Daniel. And God is calling you to step over the barriers. He is calling you to break down the barriers. Mighty God. So that he can enter. So that he can come in. God says, I am tired of the emotions. Your emotion will not get you anywhere. Your emotions will not get you to the level that you are supposed to be. God is not impressed with our tears. Mighty God. But God is impressed with our worship. Mighty God of Daniel. The word of God says, present. 